Good day, math learners! Our first discussion for this week is harmonic sequence. Let us consider this picture. The word harmonic is often associated to music and acoustics. The illustration above shows the nodes of a vibrating string which is said to be harmonic. The topmost wave is called the first harmonic, the second wave a second harmonic, and so on and so forth. For the first harmonic, we have here one, second wave for one half, third wave for one third, fourth wave for one fourth, fifth wave we have one fifth, sixth wave we have one over six. And we have come up with the sequence as one, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, and one over six. And this will lead us to the concept about harmonic sequence. Harmonic sequence is a special type of sequence in which the reciprocal of each term forms an arithmetic sequence. Let us go back to our example a while ago. We have one, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, and one sixth. First, we have to take the reciprocal form of the given terms. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. Next step is to find out if there is a common difference. We will be using the second term 2 in our arithmetic sequence. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. We also use the third term and the second term, 3 minus 2, and that is also equal to 1. 4 minus 3, that is also equal to 1. 5 minus 4 equals 1. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. Therefore, our D or our common difference is equal to 1. Then we can say that this is an example of harmonic sequence. Determine whether the given sequence is harmonic sequence or not. Let us consider the first example. 1 half, 1 eight, 1 over 14, so on and so forth. First step is to find the reciprocal form of the given terms. We have 2, 8, 14, so on and so forth. Next is to find out if there is a common difference. So using the reciprocal form of each term, so we will be using 8, the second term, minus 2, the first term, and that is equal to 6. 14 minus 8, that is equal to 6. Therefore, D equals 6, and that is our common difference. Then we can say that this is a harmonic sequence. Let us consider the second example. 1 fourth, 1 over 7, 1 over 11. First, we have to take the reciprocal form of each term. We have 4, 7, 11. Next step is to find out if there is a common difference. So we will be using the second term 7 minus the first term 4 and that is equal to 3. Then, the third term 11 minus the second term 7 that is equal to 4. As you have noticed, there is no common difference. Therefore, we can say that this is not a harmonic sequence. Third example, 2 thirds one half, two over five. Again, get the reciprocal form of each term to make it an arithmetic sequence. We have three over two, two, five over two. Next would be find out if there is a common difference. 
So, we have here 2 as our second term, minus 3 over 2 as our first term, and that is equal to 1 half. 5 over 2 minus 2, that is equal to 1 half. Therefore, our common difference is equal to 1 half, and we can say that this is a harmonic sequence. Finding the nth term of the harmonic sequence. So in finding the nth term of the harmonic sequence, a sequence of the form we have here 1 over a sub 1, 1 over a sub 1 plus d, 1 over a sub 1 plus 2d, until it becomes 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Therefore, to find the nth term a sub n, that is equal to 1 over a sub 1 plus the product of n minus 1 and d, where our a sub n is our nth term or the indicated term. a sub 1 is our first term. Our n is the subscript or the number of terms. And d is our common difference. Let us now consider our first example. Find the 10th term of the harmonic sequence 1 over 16, 1 over 12, 1 over 8, so on and so forth. First, we have to take the reciprocal form of each term. We have 16, 12, and 8. Next step is to find the common difference using the reciprocal form of each term. So we have 12, our second term, minus the first term, 16, that is equal to negative 4. The third term, 8, minus the second term, 12, that is equal to negative 4. Therefore, our common difference here is equal to negative 4. D equals negative 4. After finding the common difference, let us now have the following values. A sub 1 is equal to 16, that is our first term. D equals negative 4, common difference. N is equal to 10, that is our number of terms. A sub 10, that is the indicated term or the missing term of our harmonic sequence. After knowing these values, we will now substitute the following values in our formula in finding the nth term of our harmonic sequence. We have here a sub n is equal to 1 over a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Then, the missing term is a sub 10. That is equal to 1 over the first term is 16 plus n is 10 minus 1 times the common difference negative 4. Then, simplify. When you simplify, please always follow the PEMDAS rule. So, we have here 1 over 16. And then, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. Then we have here negative 4, after which 1 over 16 plus negative 36. Therefore, a sub 10 is equal to negative 1 over 20. And this is now our 10th term of the harmonic sequence. Second example. Find the 20th term of the harmonic sequence 1 over 6, 1 over 8, 1 over 10. First step is to get the reciprocal form of each term. 6, 8, 10, so on and so forth. After which, find the common difference using the reciprocal form of the sequence. So we have here, second term 8 minus the first term 6, that is equal to 2. The third term is 10 minus the second term 8, that is also equal to 2. Therefore, the common difference here is equal to 2. D equals 2. And then, 
Let us now use these values. A sub 1 is equal to 6, that is our first term. D equals to the common difference. N is equal to 20, or the number of terms, or the subscript. And we are looking for A sub 20, or the 20th term of our harmonic sequence. So let us use this formula in finding the nth term of our harmonic sequence and substitute the given values. So a sub n is our a sub 20. That is equal to 1 over a sub 1 is 6 plus quantity of 20 minus 1 times 2. Simplify a sub 20 is equal to 1 over 6 plus 19 times 2. A sub 20 is equal to 1 over 6 plus 38. Therefore, the 20th term of our harmonic sequence is equal to 1 over 44. Third example. Find the ninth term of the harmonic sequence 2 thirds, 1 half, 2 over 5. First step is to get the reciprocal form of each term. 3 over 2, 2, 5 over 2. And then, find the common difference of the reciprocal form. So we have 2 as our second term, minus 3 over 2 for our first term, equals 1 half. Then, let us use 5 over 2, our third term, minus the second term, 2, that is equal to 1 half. Therefore, our common difference is equal to 1 half or D equals 1 half. So we have here the following values. A sub 1, the first term, 3 over 2. D equals 1 half, the common difference. N equals 9, the number of terms or the subscript. And A sub 9, which is the missing term or the indicated term of our harmonic sequence. To solve for a sub 9 or the 9th term of our harmonic sequence, we will be using this formula. So a sub n is our a sub 9, then 1 over a sub 1 is 3 over 2 plus quantity of n which is 9 minus 1 times the common difference 1 half. Then applying the PEMDAS rule, so we have 1 over 3 over 2 plus a times 1 half. Then, 1 over 3 over 2 plus 4. Then, a sub 9 is equal to 1 over 11 over 2. Therefore, a sub 9 is equal to 2 over 11. And that is now the ninth term of our sequence. And that ends our discussion on harmonic sequence. Thank you.